back everybody once again here on the N64 Quest. Today we're finally launching into what I believe is the schedule for 2000 because uh, we finally have wrapped up 1999 with the by far the busiest year uh, in the N64's release schedule and we're on to Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Uh, a game that I feel like a lot of people don't even know exists uh, because you'd assume the way that people talk about Castlevania 64 that there's only one Castlevania on the N64 and it's not worth playing and people either they try it because it's pretty accessible and they decide that they don't like it pretty quickly and they don't really think about it anymore but there's actually a prequel slash sequel slash redux slash whatever the hell this actually is I can't even really say I know exactly what to call this because I, I never really get to read up on it. Nobody ever really talks about it. There's, I, I'm not going to really know exactly how to say what Legacy of Darkness is until now when I've actually played it. Uh, so we're going to just hit start. I think we do have to go in a certain order, but I my understanding is that there are... I'm just going to hit it on easy. If I, have to, if I have to cheat to see more stuff in the game. Yeah, so we've got... Four characters here. In the middle there, we can see Reinhardt and Carrie from the original. Uh, right all the way over here on the left, the Dante looking motherfucker. This is Cornell, and he's a werewolf, and he is on the cover of the game, and he's our main, uh, the main selling point, I guess, because really, we do have four characters here. Uh, and the other guy on the right over there is Henry. Uh, but what we have to do first, if, you, if you're just starting this game, so I'm being told by Nintendo Power. Uh, it is the reason that the very few like things I've seen about this really do focus a lot on uh, Cornell, uh, the werewolf, is that like he is the biggest difference or the big like addition, however we want to call it. Um, we're getting a cutscene here. That's cool. start off I will say that I, I really do have always I have always enjoyed the the music even in the Castlevanias on the N64 and the options menu uh, was really cool I left it on the options menu while I got set up and I, I did quite like it let's see if that music track comes back story takes place eight years before the first Castlevania on the 64, so he's kind of a prequel to it. That's why it's a prequel, but also a sequel and a follow-up and a remake. Um, so we're gonna do a lot of the same areas and fight a lot of the same enemies, it seems like. Um, but at least what we do with Cornell will be a different story. Uh, overall, If it's someone I'm supposed to know who it is, I can't tell who it is.
Okay. AKA now, Blue Crescent Moon. Also known as Blue Crescent Moon. Oh, this is Moon. It's gonna have voiceover. Through magic of the ancients, this man-beast warrior obtained a physical body of near immortality and a power that surpasses that of a wild beast. The man-beasts, choosing to live the harmoniously with humans, sealed away their enormous magical powers to prevent them from being used. However, like through severe ascetic training, Cornell acquired the art for releasing the sealed man-wolf power. After a year of traveling and ascetic training, Cornell rushed back to his village, only to find that evil spirits had set the village on fire, engulfing the village in a lotus flower of flames. His only living blood relative, his sister Ada, was carried away by the evil spirits. Now, he must save her. Cornell uses the man-wolf's acute sense of smell to track the scent of his sister's blood. Reinhard Schneider. Okay. Carrie Fernandez. We go back eight years in time, before the period in which these two young warriors risked their lives battling against the devil. Now, the truth that has been shrouded in the gloom of darkness will be revealed. Uh, I like the red moon there. That looks nice. Right see, okay. And there's another one. I've got money. Right, let's make sure we don't let the camera get too far ahead of us or fuck us up too much. Oh hey, that's actually something I can break. Who the fuck? Fish man. Nice. Trying to figure out the lock on. Is that no nope. R? Is it R then? I went for Z, that wasn't it. We got lots of jewels for when we get a secondary weapon. I don't know who I don't What's the lock on? It should be R, okay. I don't know that, I don't see it. Oh, there you go. Oh, I guess it is. Alright, you get a knife just to get something here. Oh, and I guess there's level, yeah, it's just, there's like levels. Uh, to the secondary items now, so if I keep getting the same ones Hopefully they'll power up I guess that's how it's supposed to work, so I can't really say hopefully they should power up. That's what they're supposed to do All right. And white jewel so I was gonna say oh we'll go to like the first save point, but that's not really We'll go to the next save point then The first game, the first game I remember because I played it so much when I was a kid, um, but I never picked up from my my save files. I remember it's probably a good 10, 15 minutes into it if you don't already know where you're going, where the first save. Uh... Did 
Is that an enemy or? It is, okay. I want you to get away from me. Good. Start this first platforming challenge, which I've already failed. I have to hold the button to pull myself up. No, no, no. Oh, son of a bitch. These fucking ghosts. I know there's a lever over there. I'm going to do this first. Son of a bitch. And the platforming rears its ugly head already. Oh my god. Fine, pull the fucking lever. Do I want to? Is it gonna make this harder? Maybe. Do these stop coming? It's Castlevania, they usually don't. That's better, okay. Yes. Food, I probably don't really need it. Oh, I can I can save it, okay, never mind then. Oh, okay, and then I rotate it back. Other way. Good. And all right, that was quick. Fishman. Fishman's back. Shit. Maybe I will need the health already. is another one damn they're being generous with this i don't even think this is an easy mode thing i feel like they're just they keep doing that right let's see i don't know if they mark them no they did one two yeah they're just they're just kind of everywhere all right i guess that's good Wait, come back. I don't want to take fall damage. Alright, let's go again. Gonna take, I'm just gonna eat that roast beef now. I'm about where I where I would have need to be to get full effect out of it anyway. So power up. Fuck you, you Money, jewels. No, I I don't want the door. I'm gonna go back in. 
You screwed me. Come on, Castlevania. Maybe, I guess they heard that one big complaint about the uh, the original is probably that there's not enough save spots. Because I'm like looking again. See, before we even get off this boat to the Forest of Silence, which is obviously where the first game starts. Oh god, okay. But we've got one, two, three, four save points on the boat. And I'm counting one, two, three, four in the Forest of Silence as well. Uh... Oh, there's a box over here. Get. Turn around. There you go. Oh, fuck. Black me right in the fucking face. Yeah. It's just, the platforming still, it's so touchy. I don't, I don't care for this, this style, and I think this really understandably turns a lot of people off in the original game. And it's not much better here, and that's that's a shame. Because just judging from like this first new area, I do think it's pretty cool. Well, we're here anyway, so that's all that ma all that matters. Oh fuck! Save point here too. All right, let's do the. I think there's gonna be a boss fight here, so let's at least do that. And actually. level one instead of knife level two. Good, I can't fall off this way. Can I? Right? Okay. Ah! Holy shit. Oh, okay. Like, you just whacked the shit out of me with my main attack. He takes quite a bit. That's a lot more than I thought he would actually take. This is, I, I guess this is first, bo first boss territory, but that's kind of funny. I just, I just kind of made him look stupid. Okie doke. That was not what I was expecting. And another save point. And I got my health refilled. I mean, this might just be me doing it on easy mode. Because I know what easy mode was like the last time. But I'm... I'm... I don't know. I'm glad that if there's going to be four individual stories... Frogman over here. It's cool. We're looking at four stories. We're looking at uh, redoing a lot of stuff, and the fact that there was there was, you know, 
it could be frustrating. The platforming is bad, and they're going to be a little bit more forgiving. I'm not saying I don't like it. It's just comical how much, how different it is from the first game to this one. They just, they would not give you anywhere to this much, anywhere near this much leeway for, it's almost like they know that, like, to get the second game out, they couldn't overhaul stuff, so they just had to make it a little bit more forgiving, or a lot more forgiving. That's pretty funny. Route. That's what that says? All that? Route. Oh, I remember this. And I, I definitely know what's going to happen now. Oh, this guy! How have you been? Oh, it's eight years before, not eight, eight years after, so. How's it going, mate? You'll be glad to know that you're not the you're not the first boss again. You can stand up to me a little bit more. Stop running away from me. Just want his buddies to go for. Calm down. You didn't even get anybody with the motorcycles or anything like that. Oh, there he goes off again. I wonder what he does down there. Oh, there's one. Uh, I'm gonna keep the axe for now. Oh yeah, seen all this stuff before. That save point's over there too. I can check out what else is in the area. And go back to it if I don't want to do a whole bunch more stuff. I technically, had two boss fights, even though they were both pretty lame to be honest with you oh that's pure oh do i get to do i get to save that though yeah i do i do cool that'll be if i get like poisoned or if i get bit by something all righty yes that's the big gate there's a lever somewhere that that opens that as, assuming that nothing changes that this guy over here is uh, the were tiger might come over and then this is the release for the gate oh yeah there he is oh you're also a complete pussy <laughs> what the fuck Is this just what they do for you with between easy mode and Cornell? Get okay, it, the wear tiger. <laughs> what the fuck? What's this say? The sage points to the right path. Oh, they broke him. Oh, okay. Uh, this way. 
Oh, I bet one of these is a trap. That's what he needs. Yay. Oh, but that... This isn't open yet. I opened the other one. Yay, X level 2. The system works. And, oh, we got another switch. I think there's two of these, huh? Stop it! Stop bothering me! Oh, that's a zombie. That's not even a skeleton. I'm still not done yet. Damn it. I wasn't quick enough. Waiting. If I if I do this one next, I'll be closer to where I can actually jump on them, so. Do it now. No dilly dallying. Nope. That probably screwed me. Cause I keep I keep looking at that jump like I can just make it. Yeah. But then when I get actually get up to it, I realize he has to jump on and pull himself up. All right. Oh god, I've been doing this for like a half hour. It's because. Actually, like way longer than I thought I was gonna do this for. I'm gonna go back to the to the jewel and save, and uh, pick this back up next time. I've done two bosses, damn it! Two bosses and a bunch of cutscenes, and yeah. This is interesting. This is like there is no game that I have really been able to to say I can compare what this experience is cut out to be what it's supposed to be what it feels like so far it's very very weird like i said i i do like the first castlevania and i always have to an extent so i think i've got more patience than most people for that game and i think i've got more patience than most people for a game that has a lot of the same stuff from that and uh this will be very very interesting but very weird to see where we go from here and see what else what else is here when we have a different when we have like the same characters from before maybe we'll have different more different areas and then there's another character at the end i don't know uh we'll see this is uh this is interesting an interesting way to start off 2000 because that's what i've been told i when i say that too i said 1999 at the beginning my excuse me my understanding is that this is a 2000 release and that wouldn't surprise me because it doesn't seem like anybody fucking bought it. So it's post-Christmas. Alright, bye-bye.